Hello everyone, welcome on a new tutorial on Spark AR. This time I want to show you how to change the iris color and um, add the user segmentation on a black and white background, just like you're looking at right now. So to get started, just open a new project. I'm gonna keep that in the background just if I forget something. And uh, let's start by adding a rectangle. Put it to full size. And add the material. Click on the material and turn it to flat. Click on texture. And uh, here we are in the patch editor. Now we need the camera texture. I'm gonna extra extract it and drag it into patch editor. Now I need something from the AR library. Let's go there, patch assets, shaders. Let's import and adjust colors. Yep. Let's drag it into the patch editor. I'm having a little bit of delay on the image. I think because I've had too many open projects. Let's put saturation to minus one and uh, add a little contrast. And we have our black and white. So now we're gonna need What can we do next? All right, let's go to, yeah, import library, AR library, 3D primitives, and let, let's add the sphere. Let's import it. Let's drag it. Let's actually open a face tracker before, and then drag the sphere inside the face tracker as a child of the face tracker just like this let's size it let's say 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.2 let's drag the face tracker inside the patch editor and uh, I'm going to rename the sphere left duplicate it and right select both well we actually need the eyeball patch and then we both selected, you're gonna click on position and rotation. And patch it up, just like this. Left iris position in the left 3D position. Then you want to look for right eyeball position. Yeah, right iris position. You can't see it, but we're gonna fix it. Let's patch the rotation of our iris. Left and right. I'm trying to keep this project a little bit cleaner of mine because I'm really messy usually. I don't rename things. So to fix it, just go on the material of the background material and in advanced render option, just turn the, both of those off. Drag both sphere in a face tracker. And as you can see, 
now our sphere are positioned in our iris just perfectly I want to add the right eye closed and left eye closed because I want the, the sphere to turn off when the user closes its eyes their eyes it doesn't matter let's put a knot after that and let's click on visible we patch the right eye into the right and left into left so every time the user will close the eyes the sphere will go off for a sec let's go to project edit properties capabilities face tracking and put accuracy to high done all right let's go further now click the sphere turn it to flat the material to flat and uh, let's organize it a little bit because it start getting crazy so select everything from there and group it you can rename it if you want eyeball and now let's concentrate on the color so we want to add the a patch I made by following Josh Beckwith tutorial which I like the most I learned actually whatever I know about Spark AR from Josh Beckwith so many thanks I'm gonna add the, a link to his YouTube profile and I recommend you to follow his tutorials so we drag it in I'm gonna give you this patch in the description the download link I'm gonna change that value to 5 or doesn't matter just uh, you can go to 5 click on the sphere material and drag it in connect it to the end of that patch chain add an adjust color between the material and the rainbow patch put a loop animation and attach it to hue I like it a lot because you see what's happening the color changing smoothly put the saturation down a little bit and we have the colored iris if you you can just go with it it's already a pretty cool effect to me but I want to do a little bit more so let's add let's extract the segmentation let's duplicate the background and change the material create a new material click on the material always flat advanced render option and turn both off go on the alpha and turn the um, person segmentation inside the alpha and uh, you can let's see yeah that should be it we're gonna duplicate this and call and rename one segmentation and keep the other to user chain create a new material again go on the material flat advanced render options go on the alpha and person segmentation camera texture I actually want it in black and white as well so I click on texture 
and uh, drag the output from the camera texture which is already in black and white and there we are now let's click on the segmentation and uh, I want to uh, see I'm changing the scale I want it bigger than the user but let's click again on the material I don't want the camera texture but I want to click on texture and uh, use the same output from our iris and uh, that's it it's a cool little effect I like the contrast it's creating by black and white and this hue switching saturation thing but of course you can you can go with a I don't know different color you can go by distorting the camera texture by following my previous tutorial and uh, mix it up and that's it let's see how it looks from my camera everything is working maybe you can put the eyeball a little bit smaller you can small the size a little bit but I'm gonna go with this wait we actually need a, um, a face mesh because I want the eyeball to be like under the face like this you can see exactly there's a, a circle like I show you what I mean let's extract the, the face tracker texture you drag it into the patch editor and uh, let's uh, okay I, cre I already created a material for my face mesh let's turn it flat and click on texture as you can see now, this face mesh, what it's doing, it's hiding the little bit of uh, the sphere we imported to make it feel like just a little bit more realistic. See, they go under the eye for a little bit and uh, it doesn't look like it's just like, you know, on there, it's actually look inside your eyeball if that makes any sense all right this tutorial was a little bit longer and probably with no reason but that's what we got i'm gonna send it to my phone as always to show you a little preview from my camera phone and uh that's it i don't know if i'm gonna upload this to my profile but probably will if you want to try this effect just follow the tutorial and uh, if you have any questions I'm here you can comment or subscribe if you like and uh, yeah see you soon with some more spark AR tips thank you for watching guys